So I'm gonna tell you why if you don't separate your management company from your construction company, you run the risk of losing your entire property. So I had a management company that was, we brought on board to manage one of the sites that we had in the Midwest and it was a 200 plus unit apartment complex. They came in and on that apartment complex, they started out in the construction. We gave them the construction to renovate the interiors, to increase the rents. And we also gave them the management. And so because they were able to do both, we thought that was a really good idea. But what started to happen is their management declined. And because they were doing so well in construction and we were getting the rent increases that we wanted and we're getting things done on time, we didn't feel comfortable replacing them as the management. Uh, and they couldn't do just the construction solo. You had to get both as a package deal. So we ended up biting the bullet and just getting rid of them in general and having to find and outsource our own construction and so when you do this, it's very important that you break that out so that you have that kind of leverage over your management company. If they're not performing, you can replace them and get rid of them. When you're working with these contractors, it's very simple to pick them up. You just have to find ones that are very familiar with the types of renovations that you're doing and have done them in the past. So vetting them is a whole nother process, but it is very easy to do. And I highly suggest that you do this so you don't run the risk of losing your property.